JB, how was practice today, man? It was good. Um, obviously, it's a broad question, but everyone's flying around. Um, just getting better day by day. We're really focused on stacking days together, offense, defense, and special teams. You kind of got the biggest day of camp tomorrow with the scrimmage. What are you looking most or looking forward to the most uh, from the defensive side? The young guys trying to move up depth chart, right? Some guys come in not happy with where they are right away, and this is their opportunity more so than running around practice, letting people up and just rap, and now they get to go live and see if those tackles are tagging off or actually tackles. So it's exciting to see. JB, when you look at the secondary and the growth of some of these guys, like you said, seeing guys move up the depth chart, what have you seen from some of the student athletes that have been here for a year or two and then try to kind of find their place? With the cohesion of the unit. Um, more so than ever now, we're coming together as a group as in years past. We like to say that we have, but this year, more so than ever, it's, we're really becoming one as a family. When you see the rover safety and cornerback positions and guys kind of trying to find their place amongst all of that, just what you could say about playing multiple and really being a chameleon in this 3-3-5? Being able to move around is, is something that I've done since before. Um, you know, play outside back or safety and then move around and slide a little bit. It's just it's something you get used to, right? Um, being able to do that here, it's, it's a good opportunity for me to show what I can do. When you guys are in one-on-ones, goal line, the secondary, man, you guys are chirping. Mm -hmm. Do you guys talk as much trash as the average secondary, or you guys think you're on the higher scale? <laughs> uh, against our team, probably the most, right? It's better for them to hear from us every day. Um, and then again, game, and they're used to it. It's just like goes right over their head. But in game, we don't have time to, right? You got to get the call. You got to get lined up, stuff like that. But during practice, I definitely say we're probably one of the worst. Uh, any particular young guys or, or sort of unheralded guys that you think fans will know in, in three or four weeks, uh, but don't know yet? Number 10, Zion, the new backer who just came in. Um, 17, Julio, the new DB who just came in. We got. All the young guys who came in are really good. Those are just two that I see right now on the field, obviously. Um, they're playing really well. Guys are flying around. I'm, more so than ever, I'm really excited to see how those young guys are going to contribute to help us win. Um, whether that be on defense, whether it be on special teams, just having their presence on the field will help us. I was talking to John Bull. To who? To John Bull. <laughs> John Bull's funny. Uh, he's one of my friends. Um, when I first got here, he was one of the first guys I met sitting outside UV. So just seeing him back around is cool for us. So I only ask this because of like my perspective here, but uh, the space tattoo, what was the inspiration? <laughs> like, are you a big space guy? What's no, it? I'm not. So <laughs> my mom's gonna be mad at me. Um, <laughs> she always tells me, both my parents have tattoos and they always tell me to find something meaningful, sit behind it for whatever, three months before you decide to get one. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted in that space and I had all the other stuff done. Um, and I was just on Pinterest one day looking at tattoos and <laughs> like that, I, liked I, liked it. It. I liked it, so it just, it just ended up working out. What is your most meaningful one, and, and, and uh, why did you pick it? If, if, if you followed their instructions in at least one case? Yeah, so the smallest one is my first one on my wrist. You can't see it now because I have my wrist guard on, but it's I love you in sign language, and it's what my mom does to me before every game. I don't know if you might not be able to see it, but once we run out of the tunnel to our little prayer on the sideline, you'll see me point up to my mom, do I love you in sign language, and that's something we've been doing since I've been in elementary school. That's How's your just responsibility just like that better now change or now that you are a veteran how's your responsibility changed it's become more vocal um last year i was able to kind of just sit back and do my job i had garrett i had mikhail um and i could feel comfortable doing that because i knew those guys were gonna do their job and be more vocal just be flying around um and now that they're gone it's like i need to be the guy and they, the younger guys need me to step up. Oh, you better get stung. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be attacking us. Alright, I'm back. Everyone alive? I'm good. I'm good. Alright, I'm good. It was on the back of my head before I was scared. <laughs> you did a good job uh, not reacting to it. So, yes, I just swipe away. But no, just being more vocal, more so now than ever. Justin, where do you feel like the confidence level is at with this team? It's growing day by day, obviously. Um, he's still flying around, messing me up. But it's, it's growing day by day. We're just practicing on stacking days, and as we get better, as those days keep stacking, the confidence grows every single day. Last two for JV. I think we're good. Good. Yeah. Sweet. Right. Thanks, Thank man. you guys. Appreciate, appreciate you guys. Thanks.